Alex Poton Pajera, one of the most scariest dudes in the UFC. You get around this guy and you're like, holy cow, this guy is built for war. He slips the right hook and he fires back with his own right hook. That's a that, that's a thing I learned early on. Leash on Izzy, and when he's unleashing against the fence, this is the mistake that he ended up making. This is probably what Jamal Hill and them are looking at right here. Alex Pereira is gonna have to be careful against Jamal Hill. And ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is so simple. You go to the App Store, download Prize Picks. They make it super easy to deposit some money. You can pick more or less on your favorite players in the NBA, NHL, UFC for the chance to win a hundred times your money. UFC 300, they're doing a free square. So all Justin Gaethje needs to do to win that square is punch Max Holloway once. 0.5 significant strikes. So that's a free square there. So you get two others right with that square. You're making some cheddar. Available in states like Texas, California, and 30 more plus Canada. It's really easy. It makes sports fun. You go in there for fighters. You can pick more or less significant strikes, more or less takedowns. It makes watching sports really fun. You deposit match code TIMBO, all caps, T-I-M-B-O. Put $100 in. They'll match your $100. Make yourself some cheddar. It makes watching sports legitness. So check it out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again. Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Alex Poton Pajera, one of the most scariest dudes in the UFC. The guy is 6'4", 205 pounds, 36 years old. He has a kickboxing record of 33 wins, seven losses, 21 by knockout. He's the ninth fighter in UFC history to become champion in two different weight divisions and the first to become champion in both the middleweight and light heavyweight divisions. Alex Pajera is a real freak show. He grew up in the favelas. Says Pajera dropped out of middle school to begin working as a bricklayer's assistant and later in a tire shop. Influenced by his colleagues, he began drinking and eventually became an alcoholic. In 2009, he began training kickboxing in order to get rid of his addiction. Alex Pear is a real freak show. I've been in, around him in real life and he is a solid 6'4". When I was around him last, he looked like he weighed about 235 pounds. I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six foot, but probably 205 pounds. He made me look little. This dude's scary. He's got one of the best left hooks in the game and he's a nasty dude. So let's take, take a peek at a couple videos here. This is his UFC debut, and it's crazy because UFC debut, November 6th, 2021. Let's take a peek here. Uh, production truck. He's nasty, he holds his hands. We're about 21 seconds into the video. He holds his hands by his armpits, but once he gets into range, you see his hands come up a little higher, and he's got really good eyes. Sometimes with people, you see their hands low, like this happened even with Sugar. His hands, he'd fight with his hands real low, but his eyes and his distance management is so good that he could get away with it. People with not very good eyes and not very good reaction time and not very good with distance management, they can't get away with it. Those are the type of people who get knocked out cold. Okay, let's see here. Guys, whips a hard kick here. Boom, and he does a double knee with his lead leg. Double knee with his lead leg. The guy leans right into it and he just crumples him. Nasty for his first fight in the UFC coming onto the scene like that. Everyone's like, ah, how's this kickboxer gonna do? He's probably gonna have no ground game. Um, let's see what happens next. We'll fast forward to 121 where he's versus Sean Strickland, which is crazy. This isn't long ago. July 2nd, 2022, UFC 276, where he went against Sean Strickland. Let's start this. He steps in and sticks a jab to the sternum. And it doesn't look like an easy jab either. And look at Sean Strickland swats at it. This is a key. Steps in and sticks that jab. Throws a little leg kick in between, and then when he, he now he s leads with the left hook. Steps in like the jab's coming, but he just, boom, quick left hook. Sean Strickland swats at it like the jab's coming, and it hits him right on the chin. 
Dink, dink, dink. Being around uh, Pereira, I just can't believe he even made 185. He looks like he could fight at heavyweight easy. One thing about Pereira too, is he couldn't find someone better to be his number one training partner, partially his trainer, Glover Teixeira. Glover Teixeira trained for years and years with Chuck Liddell, who was the OG sprawl and brawler. They know how to avoid the wrestling and make it make it a, a kickboxing fight. So Glover, Glover Teixeira has all those tricks. Sprawl and brawl. Okay, let's go. Where he starts unleashing on uh, Izzy here. Unleashing on Izzy. And when he's unleashing against the fence, this is what they, this is the mistake that he ended up making. They, when they rewatch this fight, they could see every time he punches, when he's in range, when he's flurrying on you, every single punch is coming back to his armpits and his head's sitting there in one spot. Puts Izzy down and you can just see, this is like Pahara, he's this, this, his body, his bone density and his hands look about as big as, big as someone's head. Nasty left hook, nasty right hook. He just carries a lot of that power and he uh, finishes Izzy with a flurry here. Here's him versus Yuri Prohoshko. So I was interested in this fight because both these guys are, I mean, Pahara's not super unorthodox, but he doesn't keep his hands very high. Both these guys keep their hands low and at, at, at 205 pounds, keeping your hands low, with four ounce gloves playing a dangerous game so yuri steps in with the right hand and not very protected and uh pair counters him let's see here he slips the right hook and he fires back with his own right hook that's a that, that's a thing i learned early on sometimes it's good when you get cracked you don't always have to circle and and then and, and, and regain yourself sometimes you can get cracked wear it boom and come back right back with your own shot yourself beat them back to their face sometimes this is what happens boom hit him right below the ear right below the ear which is a good ko spot and with four ounce gloves it's hard to cover that spot with big i mean eight ounce tw 10 ounce 12 ounce pearl boxing gloves it's easy to cover that spot with four ounces it's easy to get through to that neck area that's right below the ear and that can really crumple somebody yuri falls into a double leg now he's eating those elbows on the side of the head and uh takes yuri prohoshka out and that is wild wild that was his last fight so that was november tw November 11th, 2023. This is just crazy because Alex Pereira has only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fights in the UFC, and they've all came since November 6th, 2021. Absolutely insane in the membrane. But this is what this is probably what Jamal Hill and them are looking at right here. This is a little short of when Izzy knocks out Pereira. Izzy wears it and just launches an overhand right. Bink! and he eats it, and it wobbles him. Boom, puts another right hand right behind his ear, drops him, and it puts his lights out. So that's where that's where Alex Pereira is gonna have to be careful against Jamal Hill when he's letting go of those flurries, because Jamal Hill will throw some hard overhands, and you gotta be careful. Punching at range, punching at range. When your hands are coming back to your armpits, you're always in danger, especially with the four ounces. I tell you one thing, we we're in for a treat on this main event. Someone's getting knocked out, and I do not think this fight's gonna go the distance. I don't think there's any way. So we're gonna find out. Alex Pajara, Jamal Hill, two of the scariest guys in the UFC. Alex Pajara is a, a true freak show. You get around this guy and you're like, holy cow, this guy is built for war. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment what you guys think below, and I'll see you guys soon. Here we go.